did was he took the trust and the love I had for him and he used that to get what he wanted out of me. An actor is accused of being a child rapist and a cult leader. Nathan Chasing Horse is accused of running a cult and sexually assaulting indigenous girls for years. The first thing I thought was it's about time. He made every one of us believe. Do you think his time has come? I hope so. Nathan Chasing Horse is currently in jail here in Las Vegas. Since his arrest in January, more individuals have come forward to say they too are victims. I'm Vanessa Murphy. In the next half hour, we bring you Breaking the Circle, Nathan Chasing Horse Exposed. We start with one woman and how her voice and the action of police and prosecutors here in Las Vegas helped bust open multiple investigations. Okay, so... The reason I'm recording it is because news items like this cannot be posted on Facebook or Instagram in Canada. Mm. So, so any information that the victims of Nathan Chasing Horse who are in Canada want to know any kind of uh, update, they can't get it. So I thought I'll tape record it and put it on my blog so they can have access to this. Mm. Okay, so... My name is Corinna Leone. I'm one of the victims. She is formerly Corinna Chasing Horse. One of the first things Nathan ever... Now you see her there? Mm, she's very young. That's, that's when I first saw her. Her mother came here to my home and slept downstairs. And she said, she said that um, her husband didn't know she was here and he would get upset. And she was attending my brother's Sundance with Nathan and his entourage. And is that Nathan? Yeah, that's him. And and the thing about it is, like, I didn't see this young, this child until the fall of that year. So when I met her mother, it was in the spring. Her said to me in our ceremonies was, you can call me grandpa. And I remember, I remember since then, like, that was, that was it. I saw him as everything. He was the person I could confide to. He was my dad. He was my best friend. Nathan Chasing Horse appeared in several films, the most prominent, Dances with Wolves. He was a well-known figure at Native ceremonies and the powwow circuit throughout the U.S. and Canada. Leone first met him as a child. His appearances at events with young girls like her raised some eyebrows within the Native community. I know some of them even questioned it. Questioned my being there, watching me go from six calling him grandpa to being a wife by the time I was 14. This is the same age when she says Chasing Horse began sexually abusing her. The first time when she was seeking help for her sick mother and he took her into a closet. He said... See, and the, the problem I have with that is that, like, her mother had been traveling with him a long time. Mm. So, so her mother would have known all the people he's been going that have been going to him to help heal from cancer. Mm, but why is he a healer? To make money. Mm. Like he's you know, he's exploiting his own people through mm. through culture. Mm. And and this young woman, like like you saw, she was a child and her mother uh, like you'll hear in the interview what her mother says about why she did what she did. Okay, well, the spirits are, are going to come and we're going to ask them and see what they say. And so he turned off the lights and there was rattles. And he said that my mom, who um, she got sick child. because she had made herself sick. And unless she was willing to change her life, that the only way of saving her was a life for See, and the thing is, like, the, to change her life, she'd been following this guy for, like, a long time. Mm. How, how is she supposed to change her life? Mm. <laughs> you know, she's, she's following him, and she's doing what she's supposed to do. But again, you've got to understand, she was a child when this guy was telling her yeah. these stories. And she said that, she said that he's the dad, too? Like, the well, father? He, he had a father figure. A father figure, because he even had some of my extended family call they they called him dad, oh. because he's had like he's had a lot of children and a lot of his biological children he's never raised. Mm. 
mm. her life. And because there was a chance she could go back to how she was, it was not just my life, but also the life of my firstborn child. And I, I said yes. I said yes. And then he said, and it's also the price of your purity. And I, and I knew he meant my virginity. He had me take off my maxi dress and lay it under me. And it happened. Well, that's what he did to my stepniece. My stepniece was next door here with, uh, my brother used to live over here. And, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Nathan would s sleep over there. During the filming of Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, he would come over and... Um, so he's so close, eh? Yes. Yes, yeah, so... And um, there were there were other circumstances involved with that, but um, the way he grooms grooms the children, children... Yes, this is... So he took advantage of his uh, position. What's that? He took advantage of his position. Yes, a position... It's very common, right? That, yeah. Not right. But people who are kind of, you know, not upright, will. And mm. he walked out first, and he told me to go to the bathroom and look for blood. And I went, and I didn't see anything, and I came back out, and he had given me a plan B pill. At the time, I didn't know what it was. He just told me to take it. And I had trusted him up to that point, so I took it. And um, that continued um, for several weeks. Did you... See, and the thing about it is, like, when he was here, he took uh, one of the girls who had just, who was 8, 14. The following week, she turned 15, picked her up at the school here, took her to a motel on McLeod Trail, bought her, like, a... Happy Meal or something, and he videotaped himself having sex with her. Indeed. And 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 the and the thing is, when this young woman s reported it to the police, the police took her her cell phone and all the text that he'd been texting her. But yet they say there wasn't enough evidence until he was arrested in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Tell anyone. He said I couldn't. He said that it's a sacred secret between me and the grandfathers, and if I told, it would make her help go away. See, and when he spoke to my niece, my, he told my niece that he only he only has sex with those with her because he loves her. The other women in his life, the other girls in his life that my niece, my step niece, had seen, he he told her that they meant nothing because he doesn't have sex with them. Mm. That was the disclosure that my step niece told me. That's when I knew. Um, what he what he was. Two years later, she says Chasing Horse asked her mother if she could be his wife. Melissa Leone was a devoted follower at the time in his group known as The Circle and agreed. I think I was so brainwashed by then. I looked at it as I some kind of her. honor that he chose mm. my daughter. I was so sick in the head at that point that it was... But see, even here, even here in 2007... She still, exactly what she's saying, that's what she told me too. And you, yeah. You know, she told me that, you know, her daughter was special. An honor. Mm -hmm. And I would walk around the circle with almost kind of feeling more entitled or privileged than the other women. Yeah, because when, wow. when, they, when she, they came here to the school, she was walking around acting like she was privileged, showing off her daughter. Yeah. That's when her daughter was just a, a baby. She felt like she so, was the chosen one. Yeah, oh, so my. so even so she's talking mm. about her daughter as if at, the, at 14 right now, but this happened like what her daughter seven years prior when she hooked her when she her and her daughter hooked up with Nathan. Because she said my mm. husband would get upset if he knew we were here. If she knew he she was here. But it was in the fall that she came with her daughter. Mm. This one. Corena turned 18. She says she moved in with Chasing Horse as his seventh wife, and the abuse, now also physical and verbal, escalated. There would be several times where I would wake up, and he would be sitting on my bed waiting for me to wake up to start hitting me again. He would take me to those hotels and blindfold me and leave me in there, and imply other men would come in, and 
and I never knew who they were. I tried to... So you can imagine his victims, the women who were his wives and or even connected with him, why they wouldn't talk because of whatever human trafficking, mm. like whatever shame or guilt or fear they, they lived. Mm. Like she, she used to be admired that she's, you know, being uh, truthful. And how could he even have so many wives? Eh? It's like legally he could. <clears throat> well, again, it, yeah. as, a, as a woman, like, you, you, you know, I wonder. Hmm. Right? And, I, and I try to say, so, there's got to be something here. I kill myself. I didn't see another way out because, to me, leaving was never an option because of my mom. What would happen if I left? She says she finally did escape in 2021. She posted her experience on Facebook in 2022. It led to an investigation by Las Vegas Metro Police. Who raped so when she posted on Facebook, I, I commented on that. Mm. I commented. So that's the first time you that it it came out in the open when she posted. Oh, it's kind of her her no. her is a victim. My blog has been out since two thousand and eleven, warning people. Mm. I had his followers stalk me and threaten to shut down my blog oh, because people really believe in him. Right? Yes raided his North Las Vegas home and arrested him in January of 2023. To be able to oh, say yeah. to my 14-year-old self, yes, that I'm done, even if there's no guarantee, but that he was arrested, that he was in custody, that he had to at least present reasons why he had he has to defend himself against what happened with you up next corena leone inspires others who believe they've also been victimized by nathan chasing horse to speak up because now one of the mm. one of the other women uh she's a mom she's not talking she's not showing her daughter uh she had contacted me and she had been a follower of his since they were teenagers her and nathan were teenagers but it took something tragic or dev almost tragic for her to break away from Nathan. Mm. And um, so the, so a lot of the women who broke away, it took something really life altering mm. for them to snap out of his control. So what this I, is bigger. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So what I want to understand is um, uh, the fact that he has got a big following is because he's an actor or of his position in the community, in the it's, school's community. No, no. More than just he, because he's what an actor. To us. He he, even though he's a Sioux from the Dakotas, he he was raised Nathan there, but he didn't Chasing live there. Horses charged with he's exploiting in the Sioux Vegas, culture for his own monetary gain. Of sexual mm. assault against a minor. Corena Leone is one of the alleged victims. The second hasn't spoken publicly. But her mother sat down with us. And this is the woman. The truth to be told and exposure of all of the manipulation, secrecy. See, and she knew I him when he was just a, a teenager, the, too. She was a teenager, too. No, her daughter is a victim. A victim. Yeah. I, I want to see justice served. Lynette Adams is the mother of a second woman identified as a victim of Nathan Chasing Horse in his Las Vegas case. I was just, I just was in shock. I was in shock. She said that she was, that the spirits, he had told her the spirits said that this had to happen. And so, you know, it was... That's probably what he said to my stepniece. I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I'm blessed that she's alive today. And, See, my stepniece isn't alive. Life. Yeah, and she died. Not in that yeah. environment outside but three of Three years ago. She deserved Thirty. She's asked us not to identify her daughter, who she says looked at Chasing Horse as an uncle, their family believing he was their Sundance chief. He used those to manipulate us and thinking that if we left that terrible death and things would come. And um, I remember, you know, yeah, that when terrible she told death, me they, they called what bad medicine. in that he had told her that she had to do this. Everything for me changed. 
at that moment and I, I knew I was never gonna go back there and um, she saved she saved me from that place in, in that way you know it, she's my savior yes. to get me away from that because so wait for I was had been Yes, there so for so long. yes, and, and that's and that's why he's left a trail of broken families I don't know and, and hurt women left. and children. Melissa Leon like says she also people. left after her daughter Corinna revealed she suffered years of abuse at the hands of Chasing Horse. Do you believe it's a cult? Absolutely. See, at the time she Absolutely. didn't. Mm. I didn't see it as a cult. I was in there. He gravitates towards people who are broken. Exactly. And shows them well, not this is the yeah. light, this is the way. Elsa Rodriguez says she met Chasing Horse after leaving a broken home in her late teens. I know a lot of people want to say, how can you guys believe it? How can you guys stay there? Because mm. he finds yeah, that see, my, part of you. My brother and his so family, were broken, they were separated so when he came in. And that is for But there's other stuff. Everybody that you see, one of his supporters there, they're all... That made my Some step of more vulnerable. Horses closest allies are known as his helpers. Rodriguez mm -hmm. says she married one of them, but eventually left after she disagreed with what was unfolding inside the circle. So I got to witness as every single wife came and as some of the younger ones came and how he was grooming them. And I was just not, you know, everything in my head was just not adding up. She also blames Chasing Horse for her broken marriage and reveals in this interview he also victimized her. Do you believe that he committed crimes against her? see, even the other lady? Yes, I just want to say it in this way. She separated from his, her He's husband. He's a womanizer. Mm. And he finds all the women, they're the part of them that they're missing. He finds a way so, to get the, in there. The moms and daughters? He has no restrictions it's whether he... they're 14, 15, 30, married or not. See? Mm. Married to the people, his, he... his bros. And a lot of the women here he has no were under his spell. And some of those men, they know. And I told him, and either you they have to, to not say something. It, or they choose to look the other way. Because you're working with women and children. You're going to hurt them. them it's some it's an honor an honor in part because he claims he's a medicine man jason smith says it cost his teenage son's life it's devastating um to lose a child um uh, under those circumstances and, and people who are sick here uh, they'd be sending nathan money there, thinking there really that he could no cure them Justice Smith Hilton was diagnosed with leukemia at 13 years old. Chemotherapy caused complications. <laughs> Justice, who was a champion dancer at powwows, was eager to turn to his native culture for healing. Mm -hmm. The family drove from the Toronto area to Las Vegas in early 2020 to visit Chasing Horse. We were under the impression that um, this man could save our son. He says they gave Chasing Horse and his wives gifts and food. He performed ceremonies and gave Justice herbal drinks and Phoenix tears, which he claimed were the highest form of cannabis to help manage pain. See, While see, Justice and that's CBD to oil that you can get prescribed. Chasing Horse claimed the cancer was leaving his body. Four months after their family turned to Chasing Horse, Justice took his final breath. Do you feel like you paid the ultimate price as a parent? Yes. Yes, we did. Yeah. See, and there's so many victims like that. Worth more than one. Um, one lady had been in and out of state ones, hospitals right? trying to kill herself, children. and her brother uh, was so no, mad. There's no price. There were so many on, men on that kind of, who confronted that kind of nation, that kind of and love. nobody did nothing. So, um, I yeah, I lost my best friend. While he continues to grieve the loss of his son. Jason Smith says he wants the truth exposed. Do you believe Nathan Chasing Horse is a medicine man? No, I don't. Do you believe he's a predator? Yes, I do. Do you believe Nathan Chasing Horse is a cult leader? Yes. Hmm. More on Chasing Horse and his devoted followers next. The case against Nathan Chasing Horse here in Las Vegas is still active, while he claims he's innocent. 
bail for Nathan chasing horse remains at $300,000. Some opponents disappointed it wasn't set at a higher amount. You know, there's unfortunately a lot of people who still have that fear of uh, retaliation and or um, spiritual abuse. Allison Renville says she's... See, retaliation? I had a lady from Oregon telling me that Nathan had instructed her to hack my computer. I had a lady from Arizona come up to our Christmas powwow to check me out. And then she had the gall to text me and say, you're not a cougar. I don't believe uh, that you were chasing after Nathan Chasing Horse. And I said to both of these ladies, think. Last time I spoke to Nathan Chasing Horse was 17 years ago. I said, think about it. Why does he see I'm a threat? Why is he retaliating against me? And it's because I had the blog warning women and girls about him. Before he was arrested. Before he was arrested. Like 17 years ago, I've been warning people. Okay, and then she says, well, they're, they're worried about spiritual, like um, also like bad medicine or spiritual retaliation because he's, inflict he's instilling mm -hmm. fear in them. Fear, fear. Yes. Yeah. It's representing the Lakota tribe, the same one Chasing Horse once represented. It's really devastating to see the amount of exploitation that he's capable of doing to our culture and you know how um, how much trauma he's really caused a lot of people. She and other advocates for the survivors are showing up at some court appearances, so are chasing See, horses. See, that's disgusting now. There's a guy there, I don't know if I can rewind it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. To... Jennifer McQuaid had agreed chasing yeah, horse could live right with now. her if Hold he on. was released from jail. And okay, now watch. Um, hmm spiritual abuse. Allison Renville says she's representing the Lakota tribe, the same one Chasing Horse once represented. It's really devastating to see the amount of exploitation that he's capable of doing to our culture. And see, and that's what like people, when they say, oh, Marina, you're Sue Dinna, and I'm going, no, I identify as Sue. Because mm, yeah. I, I, I spoke Sue fluently when I was five. Mm. And the fact that my mother is Sue and my grandmother is Sue, like, hello, yeah. don't you think I'm raised by Sue? Yeah. I may live in this community, but mm -hmm. you know how, um, this... how much trauma he's really caused a lot of people. She and other advocates for the survivors are showing up at some court appearances. So are okay. Chasing... this guy here? Yeah. Right here. Wait, hold on. Right here. This right. guy? Then that, yeah. That guy there. He's been with him. He was, he, that guy stayed in my home for about a month two months while mm. filming of uh, Bury My Heart Had Wounded Knee. Mm. And, and him and uh, the one other guy, he's, he's uh, living in um, Fort Peck right now. He left. And then he had another fellow named Matthew somebody, Bakonovich or something. Mm. They had, he had followers. Yeah. Jennifer McQuaid had agreed Chasing Horse could live with her if he was released from jail. See? This was while she was heading a program at the Salvation there were many Army to combat human people who had mental health training that supported him. Chasing yeah, Horse remains in jail this. and there are new charges what against him. About? In federal court, he faces charges Look. including sexual exploitation of children and possession mm -hmm. of child pornography. Prosecutors say they found video of Chasing Horse sexually assaulting a girl under the age of 13. So how could he in not, Fort Peck, Montana, not, he faces a warrant for aggravated and, sexual and assault guilty. of a child. In Canada, through the Satina Nation Police Services, hmm. he faces multiple warrants in connection with multiple sex crimes. Those jurisdictions waiting to prosecute the accused sexual predator while he continues to fight the allegations against him in Nevada. See, and the reality of it is like, if he serves life in the state penitentiary, penitentiary in Nevada, those federal charges will never be held. Oh. Because it's federal. In the United States, if because he's Native American Sioux and he, the crime happened on a reservation, it's considered a federal offense. Mm -hmm. So those four offenses, even if they're federal and they're FBI, they're separate. Mm -hmm. So if he serves life in Nevada, they won't prosecute him in the federal offense because why prosecute him? Now, on top of that, the charges that were laid in Sudina, the the women and any of the others across Canada will never see justice because mm. he'll be serving life in Nevada. He'll never they'll mm. never see they'll never see their day in court. attempt arguing the two yeah. alleged victims didn't say no. Sex for a transactional purpose 
It's not sex assault. She's taken there at 14 she, because her mom oh, is so ill. That's, that's her law. He's lawyer. Yes, this one here. Yeah. Her virginity is the only pure part of her left, and she has to sacrifice this. Nathan Chasing Horse is currently represented by public defenders who sent the following statement. There is a lot more to these events than has been presented thus far by the state of Nevada. It is not clear yet whether the state has the bare minimum amount of evidence wow. to warrant even bringing Mr. Chasing Horse to trial. Regardless, Mr. Chasing Horse has pled not guilty oh, to these and charges all the, and looks forward all the to public demonstrating defenders are that these women. allegations yeah. are false. We've tried interviewing Chasing Horse, and he's turned down our repeated requests. He and his attorneys have filed an appeal to the Nevada Supreme Court to ask for the charge. Now, when, when I reported him, the tribal police, they came and they apologized this year. But 17 years ago, when I reported him, they told me, call him and have him come to the our tribal office. Instead of them giving, instead of them having investigating. investigating and treating me like a an anonymous witness yeah. anonymous a tip right a tip. yeah a tip yeah. they didn't they said call him i called him and i said you need to go to the tribal police i said i said i reported what you did to my niece mm -hmm. i said if if you're innocent you tell them you tell them that that she's infatuated with you i said but you've got to understand this you're working with women and children girls they're in love with you you need to put boundaries down and let them know you have children and you have a wife. Yeah. You need to and tell my advantage of it. Yeah, you need to you need to tell my nie my step niece that. You need to tell the tribal Across police. The line, right? But he didn't go. And the tribal police didn't even for right, what? they didn't even follow a formal investigation, no documentation, nothing. Wow. And how many other peep women have done that? Indigenous women in yeah. their own communities talking said, about this guy. Right. Charges against him to be dropped. CBC. No decision has been made yet. In the meantime, taxpayers are footing the bill for him to remain in jail. We've asked the U.S. Attorney's Office why federal prosecutors haven't moved forward with their case against him. The office refuses to provide a comment. This is while the voices of people who say they are survivors and their supporters are getting louder. Hmm. The allegations against Nathan Chasing Horse date back to nearly two decades. The question, what took so long to prosecute mm -hmm. him? The stories of him with underage girls well, is because the local been, authorities, you know, pretty well known the tribal, like the police, you know, that, uh, you know, didn't, ha places, didn't have enough uh, funding or skilled workers to document the sexual assault the in Canada. Chasing Horse was banned from the Fort Peck Reservation in 2015. Boyd was there. Do you think his time has come? I hope so. Ten days after Chasing Horse's arrest in North Las Vegas, a warrant was issued in Fort Peck Tribal Court for aggravated sexual assault of a child. Mm -hmm. An investigator says this stems from a case in 2005 involving two girls ages 13 and 15. See, it even then when I went down to his Sundance, and I asked people at the Sundance what they thought of him. If there was any problem with him, nobody came forward until one lady came forward three years afterwards that the investigating officers called me and they never told me these two girls. This is right. in 2005. And yet I was looking around on the internet 2006, 2007 to see if anybody could tell me that when, what this guy was saying as being a youth worker was credible. A case mm. involving statutory rape and mm. rape allegations was submitted to both the U.S. Attorney's Office and Fort Peck Tribal Court. See, that's both federal. Both declined to prosecute mm. at the time, claiming there wasn't enough evidence. And in Canada... This is a very serious, serious situation as the events and the information starts rolling out. It's tragic. Police from two different departments announced they were investigating him also. Could you maybe comment on that of perhaps how this may have gone on for so long? It's certainly something concerning that we are very attuned to. At least one allegation dates back to 2005. When it came out, the first thing I thought was it's about time. Simona Bear Cub is an activist in the indigenous community. Mm -hmm. 
trying to raise awareness about MMIW, the movement for missing and murdered mm. indigenous women. It means hope. It means um, fighting back. This is an MMIW event in Las Vegas shortly after Chasing Horses' arrest. Lorena mm. Leone was here, quietly watching after her voice was heard. I'm glad that it's doing something. This is still more than what it's ever been. It's more than what it's ever been for any of us. And if I have to talk about it for something to be done, I'll do it. Chasing mm. Horse was banned from several reservations in both the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S., the Bureau of Indian Affairs oversees investigations on tribal lands. Our repeated requests for interviews, including with Interior Secretary Deb Holland, who oversees the Bureau, were declined. Who failed to hold him accountable? Everyone. Yeah, law enforcement, tribal enforcement, tribal leaders. Are See, but they understand, this is American. In Canada, the law enforcement's don't even get enough money, mm. like for funding, and there's and the jurisdiction that they have is limited. It's not the same as in the city Calgary police or the RCMP. So, so even for how long it took them to catch him, is because of the lack of funding to our tribal police, our yes. own on our communities, or even how how destitute the, some of the on even the enough training right to do it. Like what do you do when you no. get a tip or people come out and say something? How do you investigate? But but that's not that's no. It's it's well yeah, that's part of it because if it wasn't the Sutana police wouldn't have apologized for the mishandling of what they did. But at the same time too, they did not have enough funds to even hire qualified people. Mm. Or even educate or them. Or have the resource, right? Yes, the resources. So even if you don't have the the the, the trained people, you, you you can just say, oh, we don't have enough training. You, if you really want to solve, get to the bottom of it, you you have to find out. Okay, what do we need to do that, right? Yes, and the thing is, most First Nations in Canada don't even have police policing. Mm. So when he comes there, who do they go to? Yeah, it's like a free, free, free yes, for him. Yes, yeah, it's a candy, ca all. candy, candy store. Uh, people who know <laughs> Take whatever you like. Do whatever tonight. you like. To be honest with you, there are victims who went before her and spoke, and nothing happened. Mm. See, and she knew that. She followed him. Yeah. He indoctrinated his women to know that there were other people who were against him, and he was using it to say, "Oh." They're they they're jealous. They're you know like he yeah, he manipulated. Right. He, he for he, seventeen he knew, he years. He knew what to say. He knew what to say. He knew what to say. And he 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 slandered me. These women mm -hmm. said, "Oh, Marina." He said that you were chasing him. He's got, he's got emails of you, you know, uh, writing uh, your unacquainted love. Oh. <laughs> and I just said, "Come on, ladies, use your head." <laughs> Nothing happened. If you or someone you know may be the victim of sexual assault, we have resources for you at 8newsnow.com. And there's a lot more victims, a lot more. For the women who are still there, certain ones, the younger... See, and this is the point. This is America. There's a lot of victims in the United States, like in California. Some people there, he's broken so many families, and yet some of those people are still following him. Mm, That's in the United nice States. One. We haven't even touched the iceberg of the mm. victims in Canada. Because isn't that it's sad that he, town, you know, he even came up to Canada, right? Ever, like, yeah, for new hunting ground. Leave, <laughs> it's absolute torture. And, and the fact that I'm these the women supported mother. him, I just... I'm not yeah. the only mother. There are mothers that are afraid. That was my life. So he's and like, he took it from me. He wasn't a public eye. And everyone knew and said nothing. No, doesn't. I want him to know that he can't get away with it anymore. As long as he can manipulate you. And no one's going to make excuses for him anymore. And seduce, seduce and no one's gonna try to you in, in thought to support him. I want it to stop. He can get away with things. Yeah.